there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Coast Chai YouTube Child Doncaster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news from update from Adventureland Iowa. Now this is a brand new update on a brand new teaser for 2021 as well as the removal and the disassembling of one of their current coasters. Now before we get started, shout out to Thorax Changeling. If you want a shout out in our next video, please comment down below. Other than that, please give the video a like, please subscribe, keep subscribing to the channel guys, we're nearly at 2,000 subscribers now, we're getting closer and closer every day, please ring the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, please share with your friends, your family and on social media, and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A session to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So. Let's have a look at some statistics and the history behind the coaster that is currently being disassembled as we speak over at Adventureland Iowa. So, this park is home to many great coasters including Monster, which is a Gerslar Infinity Coaster. We've got Phoenix that opened in 2019, which is a Marathon SC2000 Spinning Coaster. And the coaster they're removing, which is Dragon. Now, Dragon is manufactured by Hopkins. It's a looping coaster, a standard looping coaster. Uh, so, in terms of statistics for the ride, it, the ride opened on the 12th of May, 1990. So, about six, you know, six days after its uh, anniversary. It's tw it's third. Ooh. I just remembered actually, <laughs> I was just looking actually, it was 29 years, 6 years ago that it opened, so very interesting there, so 29 years, under 30 years or nearly 30 years is a good life cycle for a coaster. So the length of this coaster is 2,250 feet, it has a height of 90 feet, a drop of 85 feet, so 5 feet smaller than the official height of the coaster. It has two inversions which are both loops, it has a duration of 1 minute 30 seconds, and Dragon, for a bit of statistics, was originally built with a 7 car train. However, a car was removed in 2000 and another one was removed in the 2019 season. So by the time of its last operating day, which is the 29th um, of September 2019, it has a five car train by the time it last operated. So, that is some history and statistics on the coaster. Now let's talk about some potential options for what could be coming to this park. Now we've got to remember the coasters that are already in the theme park. So, the park already has five other roller coasters. You've got an out and back wooden coaster, which is Tornado, that opened in 1978. You've got Outlaw, which is a custom coaster's international wooden coaster, that opened in 1993. Three years later, in 1996, another custom coaster's international wooden coaster was opened in the name of Underground. And then, 20 years later, in 2016, they opened their Gerslauer Infinity Coaster Monster. And in 2019, three years later, Marathon SC2000 Spinning Coaster Phoenix opened up the park. And we already did an update on Phoenix last year when it was announced that Phoenix was coming to the park for 2019. So we did an update on that. So it's not the this is not the first Adventureland video we did we, we, we're doing. Uh, so I decided to take a look at some potential coaster types, and I wanted to use the site on Google Earth or via Google Earth to help me. So on your screen now, Fando Widozi, that is the site of the uh, dr current Dragon Coaster that's being disassembled uh, via Google Earth. And basically, yeah, I wanted to take a look at three, mainly three manufacturers, but there's one other manufacturer the park have already worked with, but I don't think that would be the likely solution. So let's start with, in my opinion, the least likely option, but it would be the most surprising option, and that is Intamin, or Mac. Now those two are very expensive manufacturers, so I don't think that this will be the case. However, if I was to suggest one type of coaster for both manufacturers, I think you can probably guess what I'm thinking, a multi-launch. Now something like a Taron or a Helix would be 
the most unlikeliest of options due to its price range. However, I think it would be the most surprising option if they decided to go with this and make it the largest investment in the park's history. And that's something which I think it could be, whatever type of coaster this would be. I think it could, could potentially be the largest investment in park history. Larger than Monster, which of course cost $9 million US dollars. Um, so I do believe that you know, something like Taran or Helix would be an unlikely option, but I think it would be the largest investment in the park's history option, and it would be the most surprising one as well. Gerslar. Now, I spoke about Gerslar, and I spoke about how they've worked with the park before on Monster back in 2016. That has become a big success from the park, according to reviews and other people's opinions on the ride. However, I don't think they'll work with Gerslar again, because... As, apart from the Infinity and the Euro Fighters, there isn't really any other sort of major thrill coaster type that they could get from Gerstar. The rest of them are very much family thrill. And I know the park is a family thrill theme park, blend of family and thrill. However, I do believe personally there's a th this is going to be a thrill coaster and I'll talk about that pattern in a little bit. So I think that Gerstar is out of the question. The next option is a Rocky Mountain Construction single rail coaster. I'm not going to go for iBox because I think, again, price range. However, the Raptor, I've heard, is quite in, is, is, is cheaper than I thought. I think Railblaze was like a few million pounds. Uh, US dollars, sorry. Um, so I think Railblaze was like a few million US dollars. So not massive, massive, massive price range compared to the iBox hybrid coasters. However, I think the Raptor Coaster could potentially be an option. Now, its low capacity is great for smaller parks, and I think that it's a great option, especially with you look at, I mean, obviously you can already see on your screen the, the layout of the Dragon, and you can see how it can go across the lake, you can see how uh, compact inside the space it quite is. So I think that a custom layout Raptor would work very, very well, especially with that first element of Dragon with the the hills over the lake and go around the uh, lift hill. I think that the Raptor could do something very good, good there. So I think, you, you know, on the I on the RM the normal RMCs, the conversions where you get those like little mini Camelback wave turns, like at the start of Twister Colossus, for example, at Six Flags Magic Mountain. I think something like that at the start of a single rail coaster would make it very unique. Cause it sort of copies the 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 conversion type kind of layout beginning. Uh, so instead of like normal hills going into the uh, air the first lift hill, um, I'd like to see those little small camelback wave turns uh, like you see on the conversion coasters at RMC. So and I think to be fair, if I'm not, and I, I'm definitely right about this, it would make it the world's first camelback um, mini camelback wave turn on a single rail coaster. So very specific about records, but it makes it unique for Adventureland, doesn't it? Uh, but I think a custom made Raptor coaster would be very good. The con, so that's the pros, the con to this idea would be that obviously we know that uh, Whitewater West, I think they're called, I can't remember the name of it, uh, but the place in South Dakota, um, Wild Water West or something like that in South Dakota. We know they're getting an RMC co single rail coaster. Apparently the back end of 2020, but I'm thinking 2021 now. Uh, we know they're getting a coaster down there. So would would it make sense to build another Raptor coaster in Iowa? Now, obviously they're not in the same place in the States. However, I think that two Raptor coasters in, um, in the States would be very different. Now, obviously... If it is a Raptor coaster, it would mean that one of them is getting the one for sale that was on sale at IAPA 2019, and the other one is getting a custom layout. Now, with the plans for the South Dakota one, I think that definitely looks like it could very well be the one being on sale from IAPA by RMC. So I think if Adventureland Iowa in Iowa were to build a Raptor coaster, it would be the... Uh, custom made one it won't be anyone that's up for sale or anything like that it would be their own layout it would be their own custom make it would be something like that moving in then to our final main manufacturer and i'll get on to why i'm not talking about b&m but you pretty much know the reason why um and that is vacoma now there's a couple of types of coasters there's i've picked my top three uh so the first coaster is a suspended thrill coaster now you've got to remember hal's uber cop that's how it's pronounced, uh, which is the suspended thrill coaster coming to Trips Drill uh, apparently this year. We know the park is scheduled to reopen with measures in place. 
uh, later in the summer. So we know that they're going to reopen and obviously the two new coasters for 2020 will hopefully be ready. Um, we know that the construction for that started in the summer of 2019. Now, obviously, you know, that was around about June, July when that construction started. And of course, now it's, it's about mid-May. So obviously, we could be looking at a different layout and possibly a, a longer and better and higher layout than, you know, Hal's Uber Cop. But I think with the construction period, I think we could start to see work being done on it. If we start to see work being done on it like we have with Cal's Uber Cop when that started at Trips Drill around July time. I think if that similar work took place and the footage for that started to come on site around July, I think we could be looking at a similar model to that. Now, another model that I could see is a Bermuda Blitz. Now, you've got to look again at Legendia. Now, they started teasing and constructing that in the summer of 20... Of, well, the, the summer before the year that opened. So, you know, um, obviously, if you don't know uh, much about this coaster, if you look at a park called Legendia in Poland, they've got the classic uh, twin looper coaster uh, that used to be at the American Adventure, which was a piece of very nice history from the old UK parks. You look at that coaster, that opened uh, on the 1st of July 2017. So that Bermuda Blitz was constructed in the summer before that, so summer 2016 around that time. So you've got to look at, think, again, that's another coaster that was constructed or started to prepare the site in the summer, and it was working around a year-round time scale to open around about the same time as it, about a year, about a year later as it started construction. So, you know, again, it's another summer project, another s summer start project. So again, uh, it could be a Bermuda, Bermuda Blitz. I think it would work very, very well as a custom layout. Not the same layout as Let Coaster, obviously, but I think that a custom layout would work very, very well. Now, the third and final type of coaster that I've got on here is a custom Vacoma Shockwave. Now, my example of this is Abyssus. Now, Abyssus at Energylandia, that's the brand new one as part of their brand new Aqualantis area. And I think that looks fantastic. I think that that looks like a very, very good ride. And I think it's something that the US need to buy into. I think a Vacoma like that in the US would be perfect for their market. And it would be a perfect thrill coaster. Now, I did mention patterns. you go got to look at the past coasters they've got. Tornado, Outlaw, Underground, very you know, quite family thrill wooden coasters. Uh, but you look at the, from Monster and Phoenix, Monster was thrill, Phoenix was family. I think they're going for a thrill coaster, and I think that the suspended thrill coaster, the Bermuda Blitz, the custom shockwave, the RMC Raptor, any Ger uh, no Gerslaus, obviously, because they're more family thrill, but the multi launch by Intamin or Mac, all of those types of coasters fill into the thrill market, and I'm thinking because they had a family coaster in 2019, I think that was filler for the 2021 project. And you gotta remember, this project will probably be planned for the last couple of years. So we know it's gonna happen in 2021 because usually these projects take a couple of years to plan, uh, start to get the techniques right, plan behind closed doors with the local council. And obviously, you know, with the pandemic and stuff like that, this stuff will have been planned a couple of years before the pandemic was even heard of. So, you know, this project will probably be going ahead in 2021 as planned. We know, we probably know that. But I think it's very, 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 very clear that this project is going to happen in 2021 because it was already planned and it was already, you know, going ahead. Uh, so there we go. So, of course, on Instagram, the part post, the pic teaser picture uh, from this experience. I'm going to put that teaser picture on your screen right now. Fan dabby dozy, look at that. Doesn't it look fantastic? Now, if you don't really uh, have a big clue as to what this is, basically, this, my friends, is a dragon uh, being rowed by a sword but breathing fire. Uh, and, of course, the tagline for the post by Adventureland Resort, that's the official name on Instagram, uh, was coming in 2021 dot 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 they've even put four ellipses on there if three's all right but four they mean business uh, <laughs> uh, but that teaser pitch to me does look very 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 striking 
I think that uh, the idea of the dragon teaser, I think the, with the dragon being used, I think this could be a dragon theme, and I think they're going to use maybe some local uh, American mythology, or maybe they're going to just use some medieval mythology and create a themed coaster. I know they're not usually known for themed experiences, uh, especially with the coasters. But I think they can create a good theme around this. And I think with the, the stuff that goes on nowadays with brand new coasters, even at smaller parks, when you consider them on the scale of the other major parks owned by the major companies, I think when you consider the smaller parks, they like to up their game in terms of making it look nicer than other parks' coasters or new coasters. Uh, so I think that Adventureland Iowa really want to push this one out of the boat here. And I think with the teaser picture, that says to me, a great story, a great name, a great theme, and a great experience overall. So I definitely think that... Um, personally, I think it will be a new coaster. I think it definitely will be a new coaster. I think with that space... There's no other option but a new coaster because I think that with the work taking place now, you know, May, and it's set to be coming in 2021, I definitely think that that is a good period of time for coaster work, especially behind closed doors, putting the right measures in place to deliver the coaster track. I think that this is going to be a construction process that we're going to watch over the next few months. And we're going to keep very close eyes on this project. I have now set up an Adventureland playlist. So you can go and check out all these videos. Uh, you can check out the Phoenix update to look back at what we've talked about with that new coaster at the time in 2019. And of course this video has been added to the playlist now. So when we get more updates in the coming months, we're going to build up a separate playlist from the Adventureland Iowa playlist about this new coaster. So this new project for 2021 is going to have its own separate playlist. Obviously there's like... It feels like there's unlimited amount of playlists on YouTube at the minute, which is fantastic. Please keep it that way, YouTube. Uh, to have unlimited playlists, or near enough. Uh, and I do believe that this is going to be a fantastic project to watch. I can't wait to keep my eyes on it. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.